Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back with another trade recap. This time, it's Jorge Soler going back to the Atlanta Braves. This one came out of left field for me. Uh, the return, well, I guess it would be Luke Jackson as well and Jorge Soler to the Braves. And going to the Giants, it'll be Tyler Matzik, who looks like his season is over. And a minor league infielder in Sabin Ceballos. Uh, don't know too much about Ceballos. He didn't make their top 30 prospect list. So it seems like a salary dump uh, for the Giants here. They just cleared up um, 13 a year. It's the first year of Solaire's deal. They're taking that, the Braves are taking on that full deal, uh, 42 million. So um, 42 million over three years. But what's your initial reaction? I'm honestly, I guess you could say shocked, but um yeah, this one came out of nowhere. Yeah, obviously the trade deadline, uh, there's full surprises, right? I didn't think the Giants would be this quick to move off of Solaire, right? Um, that was one of their big acquisitions in the offseason, and a really strong offseason. Um, we both like their offseason, right? And it just hasn't really translated. Obviously, Jung-Ho Lee got hurt for, for the year, um, so th that was kind of a tough blow. But um, obviously, Solaire's power production has been nowhere near. We'll get to that in a second here, but... Obviously, the biggest thing for the Braves here is familiarity, right? He won the 2021 World Series MVP with Atlanta, had an amazing um, postseason run for them. So they know what you're, they're getting in Solaire, and um, he's been a performer in the playoffs and the big moments, and that's what this team needs. Um, and obviously, the familiarity, the familiarity helps for sure. Yeah. Before we get to the Braves, I have it pulled up, but let's go over to the Giants real quick. I just want to yeah. look at their payroll. Like they were over the luxury tax. They got rid of Jorge Soler now. And I would not be surprised to see Blake Snell get moved. Yeah. On deadline day. Uh, I guess when this will be coming out, uh, it'll be uh deadline day. So if you're watching this would not be surprised if Blake Snell gets, gets moved. Um, Michael Conforto is a pending free agent at 18 million. Maybe they eat some there, get a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, Matt Chapman is really a they was announced as a one year deal it has options on it. So and it's a player option. He can choose to pick that up. So maybe Matt Chapman gets moved. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so what are they at for what are they at for luxury tax right now? Uh they're at 202. Oh, sorry. 43 Two, still. So they gotta so, get under 237. So they still gotta shed a little more if they want to get below that, right? Yeah, well, you're looking at it right here. I mean, it's yep. the names are Michael Conforto and Matt Chapman. It's a player. It if he gets traded somewhere and doesn't want to stay there, okay. Yep. But I mean, he's not having the greatest year. So, I mean, maybe I don't know. I mean, it's tricky mm -hmm. for sure. I mean, let's look at Chapman's year this year before we get over to I don't want to get off track here. I mean, 15 homers, 242. It's better than it was last year, 12 stolen bases. So yeah. Um, yeah, let's get over to Soler Soler though. Um, interesting with the payroll. I I don't think the Giants are done here. I think they're going to really try to get under that tax. Um, but yeah, they have Jorge Soler sliding into right field here. Obviously, you got Adam Duvall, you got Jorge Soler, and you got Marcel Azuna, <laughs> right? Not great. Outfielders. Not all three of them can DH. I mean, yeah. Duvall's okay, yeah, but he's only batting one ninety. Um, they thought he was going to slug a little bit more. Hasn't. Um, uh, Soler only twelve homers this year. Last year, he had 36, yeah. right? doesn't mean that he can't get it going. Obviously, like you said, familiarity. He's going to have a lot of depth behind him. And Riley, Azuna, Olsen, Darno. Um, <laughs> you're going to get Albies back, probably Harris back later in the year. Um, you just added Whit Merrifield, who uh, is a seasoned vet. Yep. Um, so I can see Solaire start to slug some homers out there in Atlanta, just be based off the protection that he has. And then second to that, um, I just want to say this is a I like it. I like the deal. I'm I'm I was shocked, I guess you can say. Yep. But I do like this deal for the Braves. It's interesting. Um, you know, they have all these young guys locked up to team friendly deals that allows them to go and take on contracts like this. So yeah, for obviously sure. they they love the player, right? And that's why yep. they brought him back. And they're they're no uh, they're not shy on bringing guys back. They they usually have guys that have a couple stints with the team. So yeah, I saw um, Jesse Chavez about that. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you got anything to add? 
No, I, I, I don't know if he's going to bat leadoff. I'm not sure where he's going to bat in this lineup. Um, But, I mean, other than there's not really many leadoff candidates. Obviously, Albies would be at the top of the lineup when he's when he's healthy, obviously. So, yeah, maybe Soler is a, is a placeholder leadoff for them, I guess, now that, now that you look at it like that. But, um, yeah, this is a this is a big move for the Braves. Get a, get a former World Series MVP back in Atlanta. And, yeah, awesome, awesome move. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this one. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Later.